It is Luton 1, Manchester United 2, Manchester United Luton in Luton in, in a particular camera way because it wasn't the best Luton we could have done possible. It was Luton by at the same time being caught by a couple of fuse and be like, hey, what are you doing? Put that down. Okay, you know, because we struggled in that second half. We definitely struggled in that second half because Manchester United went out that second half in the lead and had to hold it and play defensive football in that second half and just hold on to that lead to deal for dying life. And I have to say, you know what? We had to do what we had to do to ensure we get the three points. But Manchester United, Luton, Luton who are playing relegation battle FC settings, gave, gave us a, a hard time in the second half. Manchester United, bro. But I'm just glad Manchester United got the three points because three points was needed in this game. We needed it badly to just continue our top four and i can smell it because we cut the points on tottenham now probably back to like four points and one plus on goal difference so it's a it's a good win for us but performance wise wow 50 minutes of brilliance and then the rest 75 minutes of trash absolute trash from manchester united unacceptable performance today but we take the three points that's what i have to say we take the three points United in that first 45 minutes, I have to say, we were brilliant. 15 minutes lasted. It was like a flash for 15 minutes of brilliance because the first goal came from Rasmus Hoyland. 34 seconds into the game, I think that must be one of the fastest game, fastest goals we've ever seen from Manchester United player. 34 seconds, Rasmus Hoyland doing what he's been doing the last couple of games, breaking records, six goals in six games for him. And making it seven goals in seven games for him, you know. Rush, Miss Holland, breaking records. And, of course, the first goal, like I said before, 34 seconds into this game. We didn't even get to blink. My God, those who were attending the match, getting there late, didn't even get to get their ass on the seat before Rush, Miss Holland got that goal. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't even sat down yet. Calm down, man. Calm down, man. Just hold on a second. Rush, Miss Holland, getting the ball from the mistake from that. Luton player, open goal, running onto go on goal, going past the goalkeeper and finishing it in, making it 1-0 for Manchester United. We was rapture, we was uproar, there was an uproar and I was happy to see Ganacho get, I mean, Hoyland get another goal and then Hoyland making it 2-0 and this time he didn't even see it coming. Because why? Alejandro Ganacho taking the shot from outside the box, deflecting it off of Hoyland. Hoyland never saw it coming, coming off his chest and making it 2-0. We was comfortable. Manchester United were enjoying that. It was a wonderful goal as well because Hoyland never saw it coming. Get another goal. 2-0. And then Morris, before it becomes halftime, after 50 minutes of brilliance, Manchester United were just being cooked by Luton. Luton wasn't having it at all. They were like, you know what? Burn this. Burn this team. We're going to show you what we're made out of. And Luton causing trouble. And Manchester United conceding a goal. Morris with the header. Oh, Nana looking at the Statue of Liberty. Frozen once again. There's a reaction from Onana. It really annoys me that, bro, Onana, seriously. Can't you look good? React, my friend. Don't react like that. But Onana are oh, embarrassing us. And it was 2-1. Half time we're thinking, United, Keep it together. Seriously, just keep it together. Make sure that my heart is intact, you know. My pulse rating doesn't need to go up. My blood pressure doesn't need to go up. Please, uh, Manchester United. Manchester United made it look hard for us in the second half. Because boy, oh boy, we defended and we was invited on pressure. And I think that substitution that was made, bringing on McTominay, taking off Casemiro and Maguire for Evans, I think that McTominay substitution invited a lot of pressure on to Manchester United midfield because we were swamped by Luton a lot of times. Lukonga and Barkley as well, causing trouble for Manchester United, against Manchester United in that second half. But Manchester United did what they had to do. They defended well with Luton throwing the kitchen sink at us, but unable to just, unable to capitalise. And Manchester United winning 2-1 at full time. I think it was a good result, but 
performance wise there's a lot of players as well especially in in, in the transitions and in the counter time just letting us down Manchester United just not looking like a strong team when it comes to these transitions you know the poor decision making from Alejandro Granacho Rashford Bruno Fernandes as well a lot of times <sighs> player wise today Rashford I thought he had an abysmal game he was trash again Marcus Rashford he deservedly deserves don't give the match but I can't give it to him week in week out Bruno Fernandes another game where he was poor a lot of times opportunities to release and give the right ball so Manchester United can win and that's where he had his opportunity but he never took it that, that opportunity to make it 3-1 he just scruffed it just narrowly missing the post Casemiro oh lucky to not have been sent off Ganacho again making the wrong decision Alejandro Ganacho man the match performance from him and Colby Mainu, love what he does. But he didn't have his best game, but he was effective. Especially keeping the ball and going past players. Man, the match today, guys, has to go to Raj Mishroylen. A brace from him. Consecutive goals. Don't give the match. Bruno Fernandez. Guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivory and Spice. You guys let me know in the comments who was your man of the match. Who was your dog of the match today as well in the comments as well. And remember, we are live tomorrow at 8 p.m. for the catch-up to digest this game and give you the full match reaction with the with the mandem as well so make sure you tune in live tomorrow 8 p.m uk time anyways guys this is, this is it your boy is out remember to smash that like button share press that notification bell and become a member of reggie night tv on youtube till next time guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it reggie united your boy is out peace and hit the, hit the like button to subscribe